everyone, my name is Brittany and we're so excited you're joining us today. Today we're talking about the story of Elijah being fed by ravens. Elijah, much like everyone else in the land, was running short on food because of the drought. But he didn't worry about it because he trusted that God would take care of him. Today we're going to be talking all about how we should do the same thing. And that's why we're saying every day I can trust Jesus. We're going to start things off by singing a song together. So go ahead and stand up and sing this out with us as loud as you can. This life is a journey, a path made for me with every step I take. As I run this race, I'm becoming the person you call me to be, a child of God, a life redeemed, so I set my eyes on you, Jesus, I'm ready. Amazing! Thank you so much for singing along with us. And now we're going to take some time to watch a Bible story together. Like I said earlier, today's story is about Elijah being fed by ravens. So let's check it out. Israel was under the reign of a wicked king named Ahab. He and his wife Jezebel did not follow the one true God. In fact, they actually built up altars to a false god named Baal and led the nation to worship this false god. The Bible described Ahab as the most evil king that had ever ruled in Israel. At this same time, God raised up a prophet named Elijah, who he would use to punish the wicked king. One day, God's spirit led Elijah to pray that God would stop the rain in Israel for three long years. This would cause all of the crops in Israel to dry up, making them run out of food. After Elijah told Ahab there would be no more rain in Israel, 
God told Elijah to leave where he was and go hide out by a small brook called Cherith. Once there, he would send ravens carrying bread and meat to him for food, and he could drink the clean water from the brook. Elijah did as God had said and made his way to the brook called Cherith to hide out. Just as God had promised, ravens came to Elijah to deliver him food every morning and every evening, for as long as he stayed there. Elijah trusted God would do what he promised, and God was able to supply all of his needs. Just like Elijah, we can trust that God will provide for us too, even if he has to send a bird to do it. The End God's promise to Elijah sounded pretty crazy, but Elijah trusted God and knew that he would do as he promised. So he knew that he didn't have to worry about whether he would starve or not. So I'd encourage you to pause the video right here and take a couple minutes to talk about the Bible story we just watched. Put yourself in Elijah's shoes. How would you have felt if all of a sudden birds started swooping in and delivering you food? And then once you're done talking about that, unpause and continue the video. Our friend, Pastor Cameron, is going to be talking to us a little bit more about our story right now, so let's take a look. All of the land was going through a drought brought on against the wicked King Ahab by none other than the prophet Elijah. If you don't know what a drought is, it's basically when it stops raining for a really long period of time. And that can lead to many things, including lack of food, because the crops don't get water like they used to. So King Ahab's land was running out of food. Have you ever run out of food before? It's terrible. You get so hungry, so you go to the pantry, but all the cereal's gone, so you look for some chips and crackers, and those are gone too, so then you head over to the fridge, and there's not even any leftovers in there. All you find is a single head of broccoli, and nobody's that desperate. <laughs> but what if, after all that, you walk outside, and off in the distance, you see a bird flying in, and it flies all the way up to you and drops food right into your lap. Whoa, uh, oh, oh, hey little guy. Hey, is that a cashew for me? Give it here. Thanks. Single cashew? How many birds did it take to feed this guy? <laughs> this sounds pretty ridiculous, but this was basically what was happening to Elijah. God told Elijah to go to this small brook during the drought. He told him to drink from the brook and that every morning and evening, ravens would bring him food to eat. Elijah had to trust God. He had to trust that God would actually send the birds to drop off food like he said he would. Elijah could have spent his whole time up there camped out, worrying about whether or not the birds would actually come, but instead of wasting time wondering if God would actually send birds, he just trusted that God would do what he promised. He trusted God and God provided for him with water from the brook and food that was conveniently dropped off by birds. Maybe you can relate to Elijah. Maybe you're in a situation where you aren't sure where your next meal is coming from. Maybe you're not waiting on food. Maybe you're waiting on healing or maybe your family is having money trouble and you're waiting for that to pass. In those times that you are unsure or waiting, I would encourage you to ask for God's help. He wants to help you because he loves you so much. So much so that he sent his son Jesus to die on the cross for you so that you could be a part of his family. If he gave you his only son, how much more do you think he would be willing to help you with your current problems? Maybe you have prayed and asked for God's help and you're still waiting. If you're still unsure or waiting for God's help to come through, I would tell you the same thing that Jesus said. Don't worry about it. Jesus talked about not being anxious or worrying about the things of everyday life in the book of Matthew, chapter six, verses 31 through 33. He said, so don't worry about these things saying, what will we eat? What will we drink? What will we wear? These things dominate the thoughts of unbelievers, but your heavenly father already knows all your needs. Seek the kingdom of God above all else and live righteously and he will give you everything you need. A couple of verses before this, Jesus talks about how worrying doesn't really help anything. The same God that provided for Elijah wants to provide for you too. When we seek God and his kingdom, he takes care of us. Like this verse says, he will give us everything we need. So don't worry about it. God knows what you need and he wants to give it to you. Now that we know this, 
we can do what Elijah did and trust God to come through for us. So whether it's food or healing or money or anything else, remember, every day we can trust Jesus. Pastor Cameron talked about not worrying about our needs in life. God knows what we need and we know that he loves us. So we should just trust that God will do what he promised and give us everything we need. Is there a need that you have in your life? I would encourage you to take some time and talk with your parents or small group leaders about what that need might be. And then pray about it. Bring it to God and trust that he will do what he promised and give you everything you need. So that's it for this week. And remember that every day we can trust Jesus. Thank you so much for joining us and we'll see you next time.